Hi YouTube, Mrs. White 79 here. Let's go ahead and get into my likes, loves, and rejects. And if you're interested to see what's on my list, please keep watching. Okay everyone, first I just want to apologize. If you hear any noise in the background, it is the gardeners in my condo. They've been working on the landscape for like two weeks and they're trying to redo the landscape. So I apologize if you hear any noise. But let's get right into it. I have a few items that I really am liking and loving right now. I see a lot of young ladies and gentlemen here on the YouTube that always do monthly favorite videos. And so that inspired me to come up and show you guys what I'm liking and loving right now. Now for me, I don't go through a lot of beauty products as often as other people. One of the reasons why is I work from home and so I don't necessarily have to use makeup every day and necessarily, you know, get fully dressed and go out and be outside every day. So that affords me the luxury of not having to really use up a lot of products. So the first product that, product that I, I'm really liking right now, uh, first, all these items I bought myself and thanks to couponing I was able to get these items at a lower price if not free. So I'm really thankful for that and couponing allows you to try new products and you know if you're thinking about trying something you know wait till a coupon comes out and when it's on sale so if you don't like the product you know you don't feel as bad as if you know when you spent full price on it so the first item is by it's for hair it's a hair product and it's got to be Guardian Angel gloss finish flat iron balm and that's what it looks like and it heats up to 425 heat protectant. I really like this. I like this better than the Chi heat protectant flat iron spray. For me personally, I like this because it doesn't have the alcohol smell and it seems to dry faster when you spray it on your hair, especially for my hair type. I have um, relaxed hair, so I find that this product works very well. Another item that I'm liking, you guys seen this in a haul recently, is my Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. And this is in the number 021, which is sunlight. And I'm also kind of thinking to myself, I might have got a color that's a little too light, but I just built it up when I'm doing my um, contouring. So... If you're my color, you might want to go with the 022, I believe it is, the next one up. But if not, then, you know, you just build on it and it works very well. Also, another product that I'm liking is my CoverGirl NLA Simply Ageless Serum Primer. I like this because it is a primer and also like a moisturizer. And I find that this is helping right now for my dry patchy skin and it is a pump and that really works the other two products that I'm liking right now are my Revlon Color Stay I have that on my face today and I absolutely really like these I, I I haven't been using them, you know, too often, but when I do, I just find that they have great coverage. I have sensitive skin, and I haven't had any breakouts or problems or issues with it. And my color is 370 Toast. And this is the Revlon Color Stay, the 24 hours. And in the powder, I am medium. This is the medium. 
and I really like the consistency. It's just an overall great product. Another thing that I'm really liking right now is the the Maybelline Color Tattoo uh, Paint Pots. Color Tattoo 24 Hour Eyeshadow. And I just recently got my hands on the, this is number 20, which is the Painted Purple. And I want to put these in my left category, but right now it's stuck in the likes only because I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how to properly apply this. So if you have any tips, please put them below. I've tried with my fingers and also with an eyeshadow brush. And I'm not sure if I'm using the right brush or just please let me know if you know anybody that's done some videos with the tutorials using this. Because I really like it and I just want to find an easier way that I can apply it. Okay. The next thing in my likes is by Rimmel, another Rimmel product, and this is the Rimmel London Scandalize Mascara Volume Flash Scandalize Mascara. This is in 001 Black. This is the wand. And the reason why this is in my likes, it gives me give you gives you great coverage. It doesn't clump. I don't have any flaking or anything. It doesn't irritate my eyes. The only problem that I'm kind of finding with this, which I guess might not be a problem for some, it's very difficult to get off. I find I use I have to use my makeup remover wipes and also I have to go back with the actual liquid eye makeup remover to get this mascara fully off my eyelashes but overall it gives great coverage and would I buy this again um, probably not I will I'm gonna go ahead and stick with my covergirl mascara but if the deal is great and it has a great coupon, then I'll go ahead and pick it up. But that's probably the only way I'll purchase this again. Now on to my loves. Let's start off with the facial cleanser that I got from Biore. And this is the Combination Skin Balancing Cleanser. I was able to purchase this when Biore had the coupons where you bought a set of pore strips. You will get a cleanser absolutely free. So if you can search for that coupon, I believe it was in the Red Plum or a Smart Source a couple of weeks ago. And this is absolutely great. This is deep cleansing. This is great if you have sensitive skin. I highly, highly recommend this. This cleans and balances, provides an even all over clean without disturbing skin's natural moisture. And what this does, I'm reading from the back, it says Biore Combination Skin Balancing Cleanser with Skin Purifying Technology gives you an even all over clean by targeting and removing problem causing impurities without disturbing skin's natural moisture. With continued use, you'll bring back to bring excuse me, with continued use, you'll bring balance back to your skin. And this is oil-free, hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, and it says it will not clog pores. What this is is a clear liquid consistency, and once you wet it with water and rub it in your hands, it does foam up. I highly recommend this. I've been having patchy, dry patches on my skin, and I've been using this for about three weeks now, and... No, let's say two weeks, sorry. And I've noticed an, a big difference and improvement. The next item that I'm loving is also an item that I got thanks to couponing. And that is the Chic Hydro Silk Razor. This razor, if you can see the little white little dots, have a silk moisturizing serum inside and once it's activated by water it's really soft 
and for those of you like me who I don't really shave my legs with shave gel I just kind of use soap and I don't know <laughs> that's probably not a good thing but I just find that I don't need shave gel it's hard for me to see what I'm doing so this is great I just wet it and I don't even probably need to use any soap or anything because the serum is really smooth and it silky on my legs it's five blades and it has when you buy it it has a little holder so you can hang it in your shower and this was like $8.96 at Walmart and there was a four dollar off coupon for this item so only paid you know five bucks for, for this so that's really great another thing that I'm absolutely loving I have it on my eyes today and I am wearing the Rimmel uh, bronzer. I am re wearing the Revlon Color Stay. And also the Olay Serum. Thank you. The Ellie Colors Trio palettes that I just did a review on and I'm currently having a giveaway for. I am in love with these. I'm wearing one on my eyes today, and I, this is Orchid. I absolutely love these trios. I would highly recommend them. They're only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. These. I love these. Another thing I'm loving is my Revlon Color Stay Brown Hanser. It's a brow wax on one end and highlighter on the other. Another thing is the CoverGirl, this is just a plain old-fashioned concealer stick. And my color is 715 medium. And I use this for, you know, here and covering up little blemishes on my face. Also, the Instant Age Rewind Double Face Perfection. This is by Maybelline New York. And this is also a concealer and highlighter. And I really like these. What I'm also loving and I'm grabbing for are my Hard Candy Baked Blushes. And the two that I'm loving right now is 126 pinup and I use this as a highlighter and just all over glow period and also number 125 which is living doll and both of these items can be purchased at Walmart hard candy cosmetics is exclusively at Walmart and I highly recommend these products they're very inexpensive and these baked blushes can be used for not only blushes but all over your face eyeshadows and highlighters so you get your bang for your buck out of that product and the last item that I'm loving is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Last Lash Blast Fusion CoverGirl Lash Lash Blast Fusion Good grief. And this is the color black. And this is the wand. I just like this much much better than the scandalize. It gives you more volume and I like this better than the regular cover girl lash blast. If you're looking for the extra volume, I highly recommend this one. I like this one much better. And I will go ahead and compare it to the Scandalize. This is a CoverGirl, and this is Scandalize. You guys can see the difference. 
the wand is much bigger for the scandal eyes than this. But I still, I'm going to go with my CoverGirl as CoverGirl Last Blast Fusion as my overall just favorite mascara, period. And as far as rejects, I don't have any right now at this time. So I will probably be doing more of these videos. Please let me know if you guys like them. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And thank you so much for watching.